Andy Mendoza here alongside Nazareth head coach Rob Randall and coach uh, a tough one this afternoon. Your guys got down four nothing early in the first period, but fought their way back. Uh, what can you say about their uh, their resilience to, to not really give up? Yeah, I mean, I, I just love the battle that they had today. Um, we uh, we just can't dig ourselves a, a four nothing hole against a quality team and expect to come out of it. You know, um, um, I liked a lot of the things that we did. I think that. We've got to do a little bit better job in our the mental piece and, and um, staying composed in certain situations. But as far as our, our effort, I, th I thought it was really good, and uh, it was just we, we just didn't do a, a good job early on. We gave them a couple goals, and, and to their credit, they you know they're a really good team, and we've just got to we've got to get better. We've got to get better, and and I think we are getting better, but um, we have to uh, we have to just start to put it all together. What adjustments did you make at halftime, uh, especially in the, the face-off <laughs> circle? Notice that you brought Gavin in to start taking the face-offs. It was uh, t all 12 face-offs were won by Lynchburg in the first half. In the second half, it was much more even. What, what adjustments besides bringing Gavin in, and what did, what did you see from him that helped you guys in the face-off? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, uh, facing off for us uh, so far this year has really been our Achilles heel, amongst, amongst many other things. So we were just trying to give some other guys a look to, to battle because we didn't think our, our face-off guys were doing a good job in some of our previous games battling. And uh, so we decided to come out with Gavin, and, um, and he gave us a little spark there in the f in the f with the first couple face-offs and did a good job. And, you know, um, so he's responded, I think, to um, some adversity. And uh, we just we just told him to battle, you know, and that we didn't. There's there was no secret formula to it. It's just just battling, and um, you know I thought he did a, a pretty good job, as good a job as he's done all year. But again, it comes down to the little things, and you know we, a couple clears here, and a little bit different ride here and there, and um, you know a few more ground balls in certain situations. Uh, Five extra man opportunities you guys had weren't able to capitalize on any of them, but you also were uh, had less turnovers than Lynchburg. Are there any positives you take away from that, and how do you kind of uh, get your guys to capitalize on those extra man opportunities moving forward? Yeah, I mean we've got to do a better job on extra man. You know, we 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 really have to work on manufacturing goals, and, and certainly extra man is no different. And uh, and we didn't do a good job there today. And you know, you get a, one or two of those extra man goals, and maybe it's a different game. Um, you know, so that was that was a tough, tough pill to swallow. Um, but we we just have to continue to improve. Go back to the drawing board with the, the extra man and and get back after it. Thanks so much for the time, Coach. Appreciate it. Good Thank luck the rest of the season. Thank you, Andy.